Becoming the strongest in under a second, did this dragon do the unthinkable and make Goku the second strongest? It is said so far that Granola only wished to be the strongest mortal, so that discludes Beerus, Whis, any god tier character, and it automatically leapfrogged him to the top of the mortals. This would hypothetically make him stronger than both Vegeta and Goku, and I guess Broly and Moro and all those guys. There are quite a few parallels between Vegeta and Granola in this arc. They both have similar stories, similar upbringings and now similar power struggles. Vegeta watching Goku master Ultra Instinct decided to take on the role of whatever Beerus did and that was the Hakai technique, being able to take matter from something to nothing. This goes beyond exploding things, this is erasing objects out of existence. And so right now Vegeta starts off with this tiny little pebble and he wasn't able to do it. He then goes even smaller to this even smaller rock he is able to do it at this level, but this rock is tiny. Beerus is able to do this to planets and even living beings. Vegeta is still a long way off of Beerus, but it then cuts to Granola. As soon as he gets this wish, his hair grows longer and the first thing he does, without even knowing it, he does the Hakai technique on this massive mountain-sized rock. He unintentionally destroys it in the exact same way that Vegeta was trying to do the Hakai. Granola was just able to do it and on a much larger scale. If you take the size of these rocks and just look at them, Granola would be this much stronger than Vegeta. That's what the story's been telling so far. But Vegeta isn't the most powerful in the universe. That's Goku. Goku isn't worrying about techniques like the Hakai or anything like that. He's just training with Ultra Instinct. That makes sense for him. Overall, Goku would be looked at as the strongest mortal in the universe. So when the dragon was dispersing power through Granola's body, he was doing so probably in comparison to Goku. How much stronger than Goku did this dragon really make Granola? Was it 10 times, 15 times, 63 times, or was it only a little bit? Right now, there's only Granola beating up these uh, goons. They would be nowhere near Goku and Vegeta's level. In fact, at the end, their leader just straight up says, all right, so we can't beat Granola. We'll get the Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta. So coming up in the next few weeks here, Granola is probably stronger a little bit than Ultra Instinct Goku. It wouldn't be massive, like a two times Ultra Instinct, a five times Ultra Instinct, or a 63 times Ultra Instinct, that's too much because by then you're looking at him becoming on the same level as Beerus and we already said, let's just keep it to mortals only. So naturally, it would be safe to assume that Granola is just a tiny bit stronger than Goku and that's it. However, if Goku and Vegeta fuse, which Super loves to do, that would put them way above Granola's power and that could end up happening, but maybe not. Another idea is, at the time this wish was made, Goku and Vegeta were in Beerus' world. Would the dragon have been scouted at that area? If not, the next strongest to make Granola stronger than would be Broly or Frieza. I think that idea is unlikely just based off how the story is going. It is a Goku, Vegeta, Granola story, so why wouldn't Granola be on their level? Vegeta and Granola, their story is linked. If Vegeta gets told the only way to get stronger is to forget the past with the Saiyan history, and Granola is, uh, literally it's the same thing but just with his race, Granola has decided not to forget the past while Vegeta is trying to forget the past. Which one of these ideals will come out on top and will Goku be the one to put an end to this again? If anyone ends up dying in this arc, I could really see it being Freezer. Freezer.